I like Kevin. Whoa! Jesus Christ. That wasn't very funny. Hi guys, it's your favorite childless millennial back in Disney World, back in Florida. You know how much I love it here. We're here at Animal Kingdom today. As you can see, we're gonna eat our way through the park. We need something like 20 items, savory, sweet, everything in between. We're gonna see how that goes. Ooh, the sweat has reached my butt. It very well might be a disaster. It might be the best day of my life. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Let's go. I should start by saying that for all those concerned, I am wearing plenty of sunscreen. This is just what I look like when I go outside at any given point in the year. We have baked mac and cheese with pulled pork. I think it's like 9.30 in the morning. I don't know. This is the first thing I'm eating today, but honestly, good for me and aren't you jealous? For all those who know, what the best mac and cheese in the whole world is. This is what it tastes like. The correct answer, by the way, is Boston Market. This tastes like Boston Market mac and cheese. Boston Market? Boston Market. It's the best. It's the best in the whole world. They didn't pay me to say that, but they should. They're parrots. Oh, I hate animals. I, that's not true. I don't hate animals. I just like dogs. I don't like parrots. Don't at me, PETA. Okay, real quick. If you were a Disney character, who would you be? Belle. Belle? Yeah, obviously Belle. You're too sassy for them. Like I have her kind of gentle nature. <laughs> what the f are you kidding? <laughs> we have french fries that are laden with pulled pork, with cheese sauce, with barbecue sauce, and some jalapenos. If you look at that beautiful striping, how cute and zebra like. Oh man, that tastes good. I need to come up for, with a different word for describing cheese sauces because all I can think of is luscious. But this is thick. I want to say gloopy, but that's the wrong word. Gloopy is a negative connotation normally, but I think this is gloopy in a very positive way. Mm. Is that real? Is he real? Is he blinking? Are you real? Ooh! He's looking at me with its beady little eyes. Ooh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay, we need to leave. We've got a lime paw cookie, you guys. You can get these at all ice cream carts in uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. I think it's like a sugar, like a frosted sugar cookie type situation, but. Oh, not today, Satan. Mm. You can't have it. Oh my God. He called all his friends. Sweet and soft, moist all the way through. Good bite. Look at this little guy. I love how compact he is. Fun to share with your friends, if you're into that kind of thing. I normally get a little skeptical when I see a crust like fluff up like this, but I'm not hating it because it's super light. A little cheese pull in every bite. Never hurt anyone. I saw a bee. Funny thing about Animal Kingdom is there are a lot of animals in the park. But anyway. Mmm. That was a gorgeously light and fluffy bite. I don't know if you saw it like rebound after I bit into it. Look, look, look. No complaints except for the oppressive heat and how I probably look right now. All good. Pandora time. Is it digesting? That's what my body sounds like after an episode of these. About to eat the lumpia from Pandora. I'm excited. They look vaguely like my favorite blintzes from my favorite New Jersey diner. Firstly, look at this sugar coating right here. It is fantastically sugared and it should be stuffed with like a cream cheese and pineapple type situation. That's my favorite thing so far. That is like gorgeously tropical. Even though I have sugar and flaky pastry all over my face, I don't care. Can I have one minute to myself? Tell us to stop. <laughs> you know what, it wouldn't be Disney if I didn't eat one phallic thing. I just wanna be alone. Every moment I'm alive, here I die. We got a more margarita, because I saw people walking by with blue things, and I thought I need to drink that. Bonus, it's alcoholic. I truly, I have no idea what's actually in here. Tastes like margarita. Boba time. 
That's not tequila boba, is it? That's not possible. That's not a thing. Oh, I could eat that by the spoonful. This is like our first time coming. Yeah, so, first visit. So we were like watching all your videos. Oh, that's so we fun. Okay, come take pictures. Okay. Do you want to step in my marg? That's a little weird. We just okay. met. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that's not. Oh. We're going oh, okay. this way. Oh, yeah. I'm honestly so likable, you guys. I don't know why you all hate me. We wandered from Pangu Pangu right across the, it's not a street, 300 feet away to Satuli Canteen. And we got one of these like make your own Satuli bowl type things. We got a mix of proteins because honestly I haven't had much protein today that wasn't cheese. We have a slaw, we have this like red potato and sweet potato hash type feel and honestly more boba. Are these going to be savory boba? I have honestly no idea. Only one way to find out. Ooh. That tastes like strawberry and balsamic. Okay, I'm eating it all in. This is yummy. Another one of those situations where if I hadn't eaten everything, I would eat all of this. Oh, you know I want some beef. I didn't even try some, oh my God, these are very large slices of beef. Inappropriate to put that in my mouth on camera. Mm. Mm. Love me some thinly shaved beef. I'm into this. It feels like very like heartily fulfilling in a way that you would meal prep it and not come to Disney World to get it. So I'm into this change of pace right now. It's not a bad thing. May I please have a mava cake sundae and both of the Simba things? Not too much of a camera person. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. What am I doing with my life? This is wild, okay. Every Disney video, I drop something on the ground. Yes! <laughs> pick some more from mom. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. It's fine. I'm so sorry at Walt Disney. We're falling apart, guys. I'm getting like a lot of like cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm. I'm just gonna jump into the river. It's all I wanna do. Eat my malva cake and jump into the river. What do you want from me? I'm in a terrible mood now. We love the Lion King. We love a friendly lion. We love Simba. That tastes like my childhood. We'd ordered a Simba Sunset, but then we realized there was an option that had alcohol in it. This is the King's Cooler, and it has coconut rum all mixed in, so that's a good time. Anyway, it's a Dole Whip with some like strawberry syrup kind of like interwoven throughout. Making friends everywhere we go. Where's my rum? I want my rum. I do taste the rum though when I sip. 100% you are not meant to sip that. That's not how it's meant to be consumed. But how tropical and fun. A Dole Whip with a strawberry and coconut rum. Glass and glass. Let's try and get a whole a bite of everything all at once. That's not going to be possible, is it? Oh, God. That's a little spicy. Wow. I want to eat this all the time. If you're in the park and you're looking for like a heartier lunch that is going to sustain you throughout the day, this is 100% the option I'd go. Oh, God. I am such a train wreck. It's wild. We're having fun. I truly have no idea what this is. I'm excited to find out, but it does look vaguely like bit size mochi like, which is kind of cool with these crunchy little bits here. I don't know. Let's see. I kind of just want to see what happens if I explode it. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, I wish I could do it again. And this is colder, like I was gonna say cooler, but it's colder than most of the foods I've eaten today. So I'm all about this most beautiful cake. I love you. You do have the option of getting this with some sort of alcohol, but we're abstaining as, I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but <laughs> we're slowly losing it. I have not a clue what flavors these gorgeous colors actually are. God, I hope it's like grapefruit or something. Oh, 
It's so cold and a little bit. I love it, I love it. It's not the kind of thing I mind eating on a day like today. I love it. This grilled corn is dipped in a butter bath. There's some curry salt happening here, which is why I'm smelling so much smoke, I suppose. But it actually also smells very like sweet and like maple syrupy a little bit. That salt is all up on here. Let's try it. Mm. Oh wow. There's a lot of like smoke and heat that hits you like I'm gonna take a bite of something that's a little bit too spicy, but wow, that butter like tamps it down a little bit. I can't wait for you to all tell me that I ate my corn wrong. Mmm, it's like flaked to the nth degree. Wow, I love that a lot. It's held together with all this like sugary syrup type stuff. I don't know if you that translates on camera. But like if you're to destroy it, do you see what I'm talking about? All that sugar up in there. Oh, I kind of just want to like peel it, like unravel it, just keep going like a game, you know? Mmm. I'd eat it for breakfast. If I make it through today, if I live to see another day, I will would eat this again for breakfast tomorrow. It looks deeply fried, which I am thrilled about. Mmm, tastes like a deep fried wonton. Ooh. Oh no. You know what, if I'm gonna get stained by anything and it's not gonna be my own blood, sweat, and tears, I want it to be dumpling sauce from Mr. Kamal's. You're meant to like kind of combine all the dipping sauces. So I don't quite know what I did here. I know there was a ketchup, there was a saffron aioli, I have a honey mustard, which is darker, and some sort of sriracha based sauce. Again, I don't, I don't know, should I get a little bit of everything? Probably, yeah? I don't know. <coughs> Ooh, sweeter than I anticipated. I know there's a lot of like paprika coating these. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, it's spicy. I just need like one minute. I just like one minute. That's all I need. One minute. Oh my god. today. I'm not trying to drop my 18th ice cream of the day, so oh, we'll keep it moving, but wow. That is a treat. One more time again. We've got some corn chips. We've got some shredded cheese. We've got chili. We've got jalapenos. We've got sour cream, which fun fact, has some chives in there. I hate to say it, but this tastes like my mom's chili. That was a gigantic compliment. My mom makes fantastic chili. My internal body temperature is like 114 degrees. This is not helping, but I love it. Oh. My life. We're not done, by the way. There's more. Also, is this a flattering way to sit or is this a flattering way to sit? Leave your answer in the comments below. Looks like some beautiful ice cream, some strawberry shortcake, two sugar cookies with a bunch of pink stuff on it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's so cold. I hope everyone I love in this lifetime gets a chance to eat this sandwich. It's like those pops that used to give you a camp at the end of the day. 
Wow, what a glorious sprinkly mess. One more ice cream to go. One more food to go. As in the same thing. The last thing is ice cream. This is Scrooge McDuck's Billionaire Bacon Caramel Sundae. I think I said all the words. Anyway, I know there's candied bacon and there's caramel whipped cream and there are these little gold dusted chocolate bits and there's vanilla ice cream down there. Also probably white chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that fell apart real fast. Okay. Salty and sweet and delicious and lovely and cold, so cold. Mmm. <coughs> this is delicious. I've never had caramel whipped cream before, I don't think. Mm. Anyway, this has been a blast. Time for a ride. Oh, maybe I'll eat that. Whatever, I'm just gonna eat everything. Goodbye. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, no, I don't like that. I don't, I don't understand. My lever's not doing anything. I'm gonna projectile vomit all over China land, and then what are you gonna do? Oh, okay. Chelsea Lovekamp. I don't think you're funny.